Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play SimCity with me, Get Daved. I was just admiring our very effective sewage handling system, where you can see all the little dots going to the primary highway and then shipping off to Get Daved and Heim U. Yep, don't know what they do with it there. So that's pretty exciting. We've been mainly, uh,. Well, we've been making alloy, which sells for fantastic amounts of money. But we are going to have to hold on to that. Okay. So that gets us 10 tons. So let's take a look at what we need to get what we want. We're going to need 60 of those. Which is doable. That is absolutely doable. Right now, the main problem with that is that they bring in so much money, which is essential to our growth. Yeah, there you go. So we could pay off one of those bonds and save the city some money long term. Which is, I'm going to do that for one of them. And we still have a little bit of money to work with now. So I'm going to examine our healthcare situation. We have lots of death. which is preventing the waiting room from being used. <laughs> minus 1700, minus 400. 700, okay. So a fully upgraded clinic will cost more than a hospital, but we're really maxing this thing out already. We're kind of tempted to just get the long-term solution in place right now with the hospital. And I would probably drop it somewhere over here. As a matter of fact, this residential block looks pretty good. Just because uh, I haven't bothered to build parks to increase the land value quite as much over here. So, this would be less inconvenient for me. You love the new city buildings. Well, if you play your cards right, there might be a new one really nearby. Guess they need a little bit more space. Space! Actually, I might just plop it there. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. And now we'll keep the health system exactly the same. Education is maxed to the limit. For some reason I still can't plop these, uh... Normally you can plop... eh, whatever. Alright, let's take a look at RCI. It's been a while since we dealt with those. Crazy demand up here. And the industry wants to expand. I think we still need road upgrades for that. So let's get on it with our leftover cash. And I'm just going straight to the good stuff from dirt. Oh no. Time to stop investing and making things better. the little guys. I wonder if there's going to be a mothership in this one. Oh no. No, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Run! <laughs> oh, Agent Mulder! That would be a great time to not have a police force on loan. The alien stole my grandma. Well, did it decrease the load on the schools? Of course not.
Well, that was, uh, I guess, ultimately small scale. I can't imagine what horrors are being done to those people, though. From what I hear, alien abduction is ten times worse than prison. If you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, I'd probably be better off uh, upgrading the streets elsewhere first. Because I imagine these people, they're newer, they're probably not as rich, not as ready to upgrade, but... At the rate we're producing and selling alloy, we're making pretty good coin here. Listen to Dave click! With me, Get Dave. that for now down yonder and we'll go back to focusing up here yeah we're getting a bit of uh, money for our trouble which is nice our monthly income went down a bit thanks to that uh, debacle with having to build more classrooms but in theory a more educated workforce will be much better for us in the long run because uh, if we could shift these to high-tech industry, oh, you know, that'd be quite nice. Although, it's entirely possible that mining town, or mining town, pardon me, is uh, going to be more blue-collar. We'll, pu we'll put it the polite way. The non-polite way would be saying, this is a... <laughs> neo-industrial revolution type England and all you children pretty better get back in the factories I'm just gonna zone it higher up here there we go Remember to put the wind farm there, Dave. That'd be a cool place for the hospital. I wonder how many people would get hurt falling off cliffs, but... I know it looks like the AI is being stupid and only picking these roads, but uh, I think it does have to do with, just like in the previous one, traffic representing... Oh. Two patrol cars might not be enough anymore. Uh, the number of cars represents the traffic back up there. Build a trade HQ and help us. Uh, that is something I would be interested in doing, and I don't know if we have one in the region. Apparently not. How long till we can export something exciting? Probably gonna be a little while. I was actually a little more interested in upgrading the factory over here. Large amounts of metal. Well, I don't want them to ever stop producing because they're backed up, so I'm just going to drop those down there right now. Mine's backed up again. I may have to just start selling, uh... Selling ore. Because our production is much higher than my ability to, uh... Process right now. Yeah, I recall making a process about... Or a promise about, uh, streetcars a little while ago. No, wait! They want streetcars and buses... They want everything. They want the world. Well, I'm just going to go back to upgrading roads then. We don't really have enough money to do anything else. Now we don't even have enough money to do that. Uh, 
Okay. Soon we'll have lots of money, though. The mine's gonna be working again, too, because we finally offloaded some of that ore. Oh, the entire region's having air pollution issues. Well, yeah! Have you seen what we do with everything? Set it on fire! Once that alloy export goes through, we should have quite a bit of coin. If you were, uh, really uh, a details person, you might be able to do pretty well for yourself uh, buying and selling things. And you actually wouldn't need to be able to produce anything. You could just Wall Street your way, supply and demand. But uh, I think for it to be practical in this game, I'm just going to finish off these upgrades. For it to be practical, I think we would have to have more in-depth abilities to analyze the actual sim economy. It's like, I don't know how you could predict if metals were going to go, you know, booming or something. Or, yeah, I don't know how you would intelligently guide your buying and selling right now. Infrastructure upgraded. Could probably get away with bulldozing those streets eventually. At least these ones, but we'll save that. Well, you know what? No time like the present. Now that I've spent all that money upgrading them. The idea is that this city I would be I'd be a bit more informed while I was working on it, but I'm still not gonna be efficient. We have a ton of money now. This will let us work a little bit faster with it, which is the secret to our success, really. I think I'm going to build this way with it. makes metal. Okay. Very interesting. I think we're going to need equal amounts of them, so... Let's take a look at our power situation. Oh, we still got tons. That's nice. Alright, we're starting to get a situation... Well, industrial demand's still off the charts. Of course. I wonder if our coal... Well, it's maxed out. Let's see if we can increase our ability to export the coal. The fact that we burn it and smelt it into alloy may be slowing our production down a little bit. Oops. We're quite going at breakneck speed for a moment there. Yeah, I'm working on it. We've already got a regional metals HQ, I think. Yes, I know. So if you're in the Dominion of Dave, or want in, I mean, this will give you a rough idea of what we wanted when I recorded it, which is probably going to be four days before it got posted. But, you know, I'm pr I don't know how much I'm going to play in the next bit, so... Also, we might have to work with Get Davedenheim to get it to be the processor factory location. Also, it might be worth switching over to get them... Uh, I don't know if it would be worth building a smelter over there. I think I would just want to import the ore and uh, coal from Get Davedenheim. We'll deal with that later, though. Well, I 
hope they can deliver everything they need. Taught 860 students. Why not all of them? It usually has to do with busing and busing related issues. We have 15,000 people, so free upgrade. And of course we have modules available, but I don't see why I should spend the 15,000 on them right now. Quote, lots of health issues. Starting to hammer through those bonds. Is the mine stopped again? We keep selling it. Deliver it faster. Alright, we just got a nice plop of money. Closed full storage. You do. How can your storage possibly be full? We only have one coal shaft. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we might have to do a little bit of bulldozing over there. I wonder if there's any way we can get this guy going faster. I guess more delivery trucks would speed it up on the one end, but... 48 alloy, tons a day, 36 metal tons a day. It should be able to get up to 24. And it's out of ore. Ah, come on guys, figure it out. In retrospect, I would have lumped a bunch of these things closer together so they could, you know, work together faster, but... Well, that's beside the point now. Also, in theory... Well, no, I guess... I was going to say, in theory, that's only adding latency, but the longer they're on the road, the longer they're not making deliveries, so it's actually... The massive distance between all of these facilities is technically increasing... or decreasing our ability to... our bandwidth, let's say. So if I were to do it again... Probably, I don't know, it's hard. Having a trade port would be a nice thing too. I'd probably put the trade HQ and the smelting factory sort of between the two uh, structures. As far as this trade HQ is concerned, I don't know, it's a trade headquarters. Hard to argue with putting it front and center. So what exactly does this do? Like a bouse. Maybe this adds the analytics I was wondering about. Well, I think we can hit this daily profit goal. Okay, so we can deal with other things. Alright, we can sell more advanced goods there. That's going to require a lot of development in the region. More advanced trade port. Alright, so we could build, like, tankers and so on. Ten times the capacity. Oh, 
Well, this is kind of a fascinating idea, but I'm gonna deal with, uh... First off, how big is this? We'll need a ferry down here as well, so... Oh. I misinterpreted the trade port as being a literal port. Oh, our fire coverage. <laughs> well, that's that could be an issue. I'm gonna worry about that in a little bit though, because I uh, I'm in the mood to plunk 120,000 down on health right now, which is sort of a problem in this city. Alright, and I have no problem putting it right on the main artery. It's still got a nice cliff view. And more importantly, we can expand it a little bit. As soon as it gets power, I'm bulldozing the clinic. business. You know what that means, Ma and Pa Clinic. No, wait, we have 21 patients. You can't possibly... <laughs> Alright. Building fire. I guess that's why we were commenting that uh, fire service was slow. now hiring, so I'm just going to leave him alone. Until my attention span runs out, which, uh, don't kid yourself, they don't have a lot of time. Remember the lessons from the clinic. Right, let's take a look at the zoning thing. Now, it would be cool if we could start meeting the regional demand for, uh, nice things. Um, I also am now feeling like I can safely bulldoze these, so... Yeah, they didn't like that. No, you're unhappy that I'm bulldozing your neighborhood. But what if... What if I let everybody have a free skyscraper? And a park! Oh, we're getting a little bit of nice there. For some reason the trade port is a uh, cesspool of awfulness. I guess that kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. Community park. I'm gonna flop it right here. Okay, issues of the trade uh, depot counteracted. I'm gonna double dip right here throw that down. And hopefully that'll lead to really good development. I mean, the overlapping effect should be pretty good. We got, what do we got here? No swing set, but the fountain's very nice. Some shrubs, some benches. Pokeball in the middle. Yeah, I guess the slide is pretty nice. Monkey bars. I'd play on it. Uh, not the largest park ever. Got some flower beds, a gazebo. In passing, I was watching a TV show about people who had rooms in their house that cost a million dollars. 
which is a pretty elitist premise to begin with. You know, douchey host and everything you might expect, but one thing that I thought was pretty awesome is the super, super rich person was like, oh yes, and we have a gazebo out back. That's how rich people say gazebo. Now, apparently both of those were pretty expensive. Uh, I'm hoping it ends up being worthwhile. Alright, I'm just going to try checking into... Ooh, HQ upgrade available. No doubt somebody's full. Mine is at storage capacity. Hope this doesn't make it more expensive. Okay, so we can have one of these awesome... trade centers. I was kind of hoping this could go on top of something. Oh well. Yes, you can make a lot of money selling alloy, everybody. Hope we don't, uh... Eight month supply. Starting to go through this pretty quickly. We're learning important lessons about sustainable de Well... I'm hoping you will learn important lessons on sustainable development based on uh, mediocre decision making on my part. Alright, and uh, aside from the city budget issues, I'm in a pretty successful run. Maybe I'll just zone a little bit more to get around that problem. Still industrial demand, as always. <laughs> Getting a little bit of demand for high wealth residential from our own economy, or from our own city, so that's nice. Imagining it's pretty much all industrial or all residential down here. As a matter of fact, I'm surprised nobody has to shop in town, but I guess they're leaving for that sort of stuff. There's a very faint demand for uh, better commercial. So what I'm gonna do? 100 tons of metal. Okay, we do that six more times and don't sell it, and we'll be able to have ourselves the alloy we need for our big uh, project. Right, I'm just going to plop a park. We'll just have a pond here. Hopefully that'll help out the commercial a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go even bigger. bigger. And hopefully that'll bump up the land value. Yeah. There we go. Alright, and we have the potential for some high wealth in here. Eventually. As a matter of fact, if I plop something really fancy there, it might work right away. Might have to wait for them to grow a little bit more, though. And on that note, I believe I'm going to end the video. Uh, next time, we'll find something to do with all of this money, because holy crap, alloys. Maybe we could build a fire department. I'll see you next time, everybody.